This is shot on Sony RX100 Mark V, my secret weapon. I reviewed this camera back in November 6, 2016, and I've been using it excessively ever since. And today, I'm going to show you why RX100 Mark V is still one of the best compact size cameras out there for almost all of your video needs, including vlogging. Right now, for my videos, I use four cameras. A6500 for the main angle, Sony RX100 Mark IV for the overhead shoots, Sony FDR X3000 for B-roll, and Sony RX100 Mark V for all of the cover photos and all of the detailed close-up beauty shots of the product. So actually, I realized that I use this camera for the most visually demanding stuff. If my A6500 stops working, it's fine. I can use my RX100 Mark V instead of it. If Mark IV stops working, I can use this one again. If FDR X3000 stops working, fine. Unless I'm going underwater, I can use this one again. But if this camera dies, I cannot do most of the stuff I do in my videos. I cannot do those precisely focused detail shots with any other camera none of the cameras can go through that tiny gap in between the leg and iMac Pro also a lot of youtubers use this camera a lot of vloggers use this camera a lot of makeup tutorialers use this camera and here's why first of all this thing is a pocket master it's very convenient and you can put this camera in your pocket and you're all set. You actually don't need other stuff. It is so easy to mount it in a car and it doesn't draw a lot of attention. Now drawing a lot of attention can be problematic, it can affect your vibe and you may get kicked out of places and some people may get, you know, disturbed. And then there's the video quality. This tiny camera has a one inch sensor and a Zeiss lens and it shoots in 4K. Also with this kind of sensor and this kind of lens, you have the depth of field. And depth of field is very important when you're trying to tell a story. It's really important to separate you from the other objects. It makes the video more personal. Also, there are color profiles. You have your own look. You can apply it easily with the color profiles and boom, you have your own style in your videos. Let's say you have a couple of cameras and you want to match the colors. You can use the color profiles as well. Then there's slow motion. You can shoot 120 frames per second in 1080p. And then there is super slow motion where you can shoot up to 960 frames per second for a little bit of time. And then of course, one of the most important thing we have in this camera is the ND filter. When you're outside, turn the ND filter on. If there's too much sun, it will take care of it. And then of course we have the flipping screen. The flipping screen. And you know, when you wanna shoot, in this style, you want to see what is going on. You want to see if you're fully in frame and how things are going. It has a pretty good microphone on top of it. And now what you're hearing is Sony RX100 Mark V. And actually now I'm on a skateboard and I'm going fast. I kind of made a little modification to my microphones. I added 
earbuds phone on top of it also if you want the best audio quality you can use a lavalier mic like this connected to your phone and then you can shoot scenes like this you don't have to be in front of your camera for it to pick up your sound it also takes pretty pretty good photos so let's say you want to shoot your cover photo with this or let's say you want to take a photo for your instagram let's say you're an instagram personality i'm sorry for you but let's say you are one you can take a really nice photo with this you can shoot in hdr and then you can edit that photo on your phone you can transfer it to your phone and boom upload it to instagram and just like that you're done since this camera has been out for more than a year now you can find really nice discounts on it for example right now there is a hundred dollar gift card and an extra memory card bundle i think it's also with a case on bnh.com i'm gonna link that in the description box below with these great features comes great responsibility so here are some things funny enough as i said that the battery died and that's what i actually wanted to talk to you about you probably need a couple of extra batteries with you if you want to use this camera for vlogging because especially in 4k it really drains the battery but the good thing about this camera is you can use the micro usb and charge it while you're filming this camera overheats but you can live with it you may have seen on my twitter that i actually used cpu coolers to use this camera and it works pretty well just make sure that you're not just cooling down the heat sensor but you're cooling down the entire camera itself keep your eye on the orange heat sign and you can make things work especially if you're vlogging you probably don't need to film for that long in one take during the shooting of this video i didn't even see the orange heat sign once the next thing you have to watch out for is the stabilization a lot of people like to use the little tripod let me show it to you a lot of people like to use something like this because it's easier to hold but actually what you're doing is as soon as your wrist moves as you can see you're moving the lens a lot more so even if you want to use something like this what you want to do is you want to hold the camera as close to the lens as possible so your wrist movements affects the footage as little as possible as compared to this to this but you can just use the camera by itself as well it has a little bit of stabilization in itself it's a little less in 4k but it is still something and you can just stop walking if you want to talk to the camera you don't need to be walking also you can get a stabilizer i love using the Shion's crane m with rx100 mark 5. it makes the footage a lot more impressive and as much as a shaky footage seems genuine sometimes that buttery smooth footage adds so much more to your storytelling it's basically storytelling right so whether if you're a beginner or an s-log addict whether you plan to shoot vlogs or a cooking show or review technology or eat Tide Pods for attention there's a very capable compact camera that can fit into your pocket which will be by your side when you want to do more or just set it to auto and concentrate on your material my secret weapon Sony RX100 Mark V Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Sony RX100 Mark V as a vlogging camera, as a general camera, the way I use the camera in the 
comment section below and until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoşçakalın. <gülüyor>